You know you ain't pay for this. What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to the channel where we break down the best basketball performances from around the league. And last night, the Brooklyn Nets took on the Indiana Pacers for the second time in three nights. And uh, Ben Simmons didn't play, which means they got to win. Now, I ain't saying that they won because Ben Simmons didn't play, but two plus two equals four. All right. And while we talking about numbers, Kevin Durant dropped in 34 points. I thought I had 36. All right, motherfucker, 36. Chill. 36 points. Let's get into this film. Let's see where Katie got his 36 from and how the Brooklyn Nets got their second victory of the season. It just sounds weird to say, but it's it's true. Let's go. First play right here. Down screen, handoff, one dribble, two dribble, pull up. Yeah, this is it's classic KD right here. This is real simple basketball. You get this screen right here in the corner, get a little space into a handoff. And what this does, this creates it creates a, a thinking game. So if the defender's gonna run over the top of this screen right here, if this guy decides to go over the top of the screen and chase KD, KD will attack. He will drive that ball. But since this guy just gets hung up on this screen right here, this guy has to switch. And when you don't communicate that switch immediately, what happens is you give up all of this space because you didn't tell him to switch. You gotta, you gotta call out that switch before it happens so you don't give up all of this space and he could be attached to him as he comes off of the screen. You could tell they didn't communicate the switch, so now he has all of this space. He steps into the space, raises up, and knocks down the jump shot. Transition action right here. Pull up jumper, yep. Hand down, man down. Look at where, look at where his feet are. Your feet are behind the three-point line. Kevin Durant is a above average three-point shooter. Can't give him that much space. Gotta step up. Gotta be up. What's going on here? This is just a prime example of, I'm just gonna raise up and shoot over the top of you. It's a broken play. You can tell he wants to drive it. He loses the ball, scramble for it, and then he just raises up over the top, uses his 6'11 frame to just put that ball in. Look at where he's at though. Like he's right here on the block. This is not a hard shot. You're 6'11", and you fade away from the defense, nobody's blocking that. And that's the part of his game that's the cheat code. It's like he could just raise up and shoot over anybody. Once again, has he pull up Jimbo? It's the has he pull up Jimbo right there. Come in. Here we go, ISO. You're gonna get some space. Between the legs, has he? Right into a jump shot. It's a drill, actually. You could just start up top right here. But between, has he? Jumper. And once you make it on that side, do the opposite side. So instead of going between the legs right to left, you're gonna go between the legs left to right, and then has he into that jump shot on the right hand side. KD got them fundamentals down, boy. When it comes to shooting the ball, he shoot that shoot that bitch with the best of them. Ooh, good turnaround. Yes, yeah, sir. 6'11. Once again, you're getting down here on the block. Dribble them right down to your spot. Look at where his feet are before the shot. This is what like a lot of people think this shot is so tough and so hard. But when you get two feet in the paint before you shoot it, it's it's literally a seven footer. It's a five footer. You know what I mean? You're that close to the basket. Now all you gotta do is, is get your balance and get your touch and knock it in. But when you start, you know, two feet in the paint right here on the block, it's not a hard shot. People think this shot comes from out here or something. Maybe that's, it looks like it's coming from out there because by the time you raise up and shoot the ball, you land over here. But when you shoot these shots, you're getting two feet in the paint. You wanna get nice and low into the paint and before you turn around, that makes it easier. Catch and shoot. And down, man down. It's just a defensive miscommunication between Halliburton and this guy. It looks like they might be playing a zone or something. But you gotta realize that's Kevin Durant. Don't look and point, you gotta go get that. But he can't necessarily leave because he's got this roll guy. You know what? This is why pick and roll, this is why it works when it does. And this is why it's important that you have to roll. Because this play doesn't happen if this guy doesn't roll. Being as though this guy rolls, 
Kyrie's coming off of a screen right here. So that means Miles Turner has to sit and watch this. He has to respect that. So that means Halliburton has to respect this roll guy because if he rolls wide open, Kyrie could just throw that pass right on into him. So Halliburton has to get over and watch this. And that's why he's pointing at this guy to come get out here and guard Kevin Durant because he can't necessarily leave. You see Claxton roll, Halliburton has to drop in to try to cover that, try to guard that. And Kyrie Irving always looking. Nice pass right on the money. And this is that pick and roll wing. <clears throat> I've said it before, if you ever, if you ever, when, when you're playing NBA 2K, if you ever go through the play call, go through the play sheet, they'll have something on there that says PNR wing, pick and roll wing. Kevin Durant in that position right here is the pick and roll wing player because the play is not for him, but that ball is coming to him because of this action and what it does to the defense. And when you put a shooter right there on that wing, now you can run that pick and roll a little more comfortably because you have more options. It's all about watching a film and seeing the game one level deeper. Here we go. Iso up top on Miles Turner. Ooh, we. We get a bunch of Hezzies up here. Hezzy. Hezzy. Attack. Hezzy. Pull up. It all comes back to the pull up jump shot. Mm. Right up. Hezzy here. Crossover. Hezzy. Attack, one dribble, plant. Look how he plants on that inside foot. Boom, boom, raise up. Right over the top of him. This is why I love the pull-up jump shot, because this is a good example of defenders don't know how to react to it. Plant, plant, he's in the air. By the time he's in the air, he's still looking at him. He can't He can't get up there. He can't jump that quickly. They, they can't guard it. It's like the most unguardable shot. If you shoot it the right way, if you time it the right way, it's really unguardable. Most people don't know. You're driving into two people, pull it out. I love that angle. I love this camera angle because you can see poor spacing matters. All right. When you got a poor, poor spacing right here, you get a screen coming from the middle. All he has is this way. You got to use that screen. He decides to reject it and go this way. And you got one two defenders right there that are just going to close in and make that impossible to get through. Boom. They close in. You can't get there. Royce O'Neal, get the fuck out of the way. I hate I hate players that don't know how to space the floor. You're an NBA player and you don't know where the fuck you should be on the floor. That's very frustrating. He gets out of there. All right. Finally allows Kevin Durant some space to work. Crossover and attack immediately. He didn't waste time once he got out of there because he knew... I'm Kevin Durant. They're going to send a double double team eventually. So he crossovers real quickly to get right past this guy. And still, he tries to duck in because that's your inclination when you're on defense. You want to get down there and make it hard. Drop down on that nail. But he, he just got there a little too late. One, two, right up. Tough finish. But it's all about floor spacing, man. If you don't know how to space the floor... Nobody's going to get buckets. And that's one of the reasons why the Nets is, is so hard for the Nets to score this year. You get a little defense turning into offense right here. Yep, transition dunk. That's so tough. Such a tough shot. Catch, he's got this guy on his hip. One dribble, keep him on the hip. Two dribbles, step back. That's so tough. That's one of them 6'11 raise up and shoot shots. Damn. Size matters. <laughs> Pause, man. Here you go. Another, another sidelines out of bounds. Oh, good back cut. Good back cut. That's saving that. That's a drill, man. For you guys that need it, you just start on all five points of the floor. Top of the key, the wing, and the corners. And what you do is you start up top, you hesitate to it, and then immediately back cut. Hesitate to it, immediately back cut. Wide open. Now all you gotta do is finish. But that's a drill. If you if you come around and then after you do that, after you finish from here, lay it up, dunk it, then you run back out this way, come up, back cut, and get another pass. For another one so that's a drill for you guys a little back cut drill 
Don't stop neither. You got to keep running. Keep the heart rate going. You see in real, real game application how that shit pays off. This was tough. Cross, step back, jumper. Damn, that's a seven footer doing that. Look how low he is to be seven feet tall. He's low, he's wide. Crossover, one dribble, step back, and then raise up over the top. Look at Buddy, he has no, no chance of blocking that shot. No chance in hell to block that shot. And this one, this is just crossover, attack, wrong foot, left hand layup. That's a seven footer, guys. Crossover, right, left, up with the left. Look how low he gets on his crossover. He gets lower than his defender, and he's seven foot. Shoulders past him, left, right, nothing you could do. They just get on out of the way. So, yeah, for this Kevin Durant breakdown, man, we all know what it is when it's KD. That's Kevin Durant, man. That's it for this one, guys. Add to Instagram, pushing our potential. Join us tomorrow for another breakdown. And until then, uh, we out.